plan today so I'm gonna write some blog posts but I'm gonna write myself a killer leg session and spend about an hour and a half in the gym just smashing my legs so I'll let you know how that goes but I'm gonna also apply for some more jobs write some more blog posts and sort some other bits out oh my god that was literally the hardest leg session I've ever done in my life. I'm in pain already. I literally have to show you this leg session. So this was my leg session that I've just done. I did my activation, which was leg extension and leg curl, which was fine. Then leg press for six reps, up in the weight each set until I couldn't do six, and then dropping it back to the starting weight and then doing that to failure. That was fine. And then shit got real. Superset Bulgarian split squats and squats on the Smith, ma Smith machine. Four times ten up in the weight each time. That was tough and my legs were like jelly by then. Reverse curtsy lunges, they were okay but my legs were so sore from the superset. Then T-bar deadlifts, which were tough. Six reps up in the weight each time and then a drop set. Lying leg curls and donkey kicks, by that point I've sort of lost the will to live. Then abductor, 10 sitting and 10 standing, literally could barely stand up. Then the finisher, leg extensions with holds at the top. Then I did walking lunges for 10 on each leg, but then pulses for 10 as well, for four sets. And after my last set on the leg extension, I went to stand up and literally my legs gave way and I fell down onto my knees and like styled it out by pretending that I was picking up my phone. This is today's breakfast. I made this awesome avocado, chocolate and banana mousse, which is so yummy. So I've just got it in there with blueberries, raspberries and a little bit of yogurt underneath. So I'll put the link up on my blog for the avocado mousse and I'm just gonna dig into that. Just finished training arms now. I am off as well tonight. So I've got two training sessions today. I'm off tonight to this boot camp that's just starting up. So it's called Parafit and it's like ex-paratroopers running this boot camp. So I'm going with a friend of mine that I've met through the gym and I don't know what it's going to be like, so I'll let you know later. I'm just walking over to the um, boot camp thing now and I'm actually really nervous because I've just seen loads of men in like army gear. I'm scared that they're going to kill me. I'm not that fit, although I train. I can lift stuff, but I cannot do cardio. I might die. Be prepared for me to send a dying video later. Oh wow, I'm a sweaty mess. The state of me. That was so hard. That was literally the hardest class. They basically set up loads of circuits and there was different things in each one. There was about eight different exercises and you had to go around them all and do like four sets on each one. They had us chucking barrels in the air. They had us doing burpees like in their hundreds. They had, oh God, it was just the hardest thing. Then after each exercise, they'd have you run around the whole football pitch. My God, I thought I was gonna pass out. So I'm very sweaty, so I'm going home for a nice hot bath. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. Today is the final day that everyone has handed in their dissertations. It's the day we've been looking forward to for so long. So now, tonight I've got a party, like a graduation kind of party. But right now, I'm at the track again with Jess. Over there. And we are going to do a quick photo shoot for our lookbooks. And then I'm going to go to the gym and then go home and get ready for tonight, graduation. Whoop. Just got home and instead of going to the gym, I accidentally got distracted by New Look. So I ended up going to New Look and getting Jess to come to New Look too and help me find clothes for to tonight. And I've made Jess- I can't even eat that. That's like a slab of peanut butter. <laughs> like it's actually solid. Charlotte, you can't even squish it. It's like solid peanut butter. But yeah, we're having lunch now. And then I need to get ready for tonight for my graduation party. All ready to go. So my lovely Jess is taking me to the station now. So I'm going to get the train into Reading and meet all my friends from uni and have a little party and celebration that is finally all over. I can't wait.
Cocktails. This is Tori. Hi. We go to uni together and we finally handed in our dissertation. So cheers. We're yeah. having cocktails because we finished our dissertation. <laughs> the drinks are in full swing and Stacia is right pissed. So I've only just got up because I didn't get in till late last night because I was out for my graduation party. Today I'm off to meet a girl who I met last year when I was competing. I'm off to meet her to talk to her about eating disorders. She's suffered with them in the past and obviously I've recently been suffering with an eating disorder. So we're going to go talk about what we've found and see how we can help other people. Both of us are looking into writing books on our experiences so we're going to go chat about it today and see how it goes so i went to my meeting this morning um to talk about eating disorders with the girl that i met last year and it was really nice to just talk to someone that had been through it and someone that understands what i've been going through as well so that was really nice and we're going to do some videos like interviews as well to go up on my channel about eating disorders and things so look out for those soon then i went to the gym and trained shoulders then i went and got my nails done look how pretty they look so yeah that's all ready for the weekend because i am going away i'm going up to my friend nicole who came and spent a weekend with me a few weekends ago which you probably saw on my vlog i'm going to spend the weekend with her um, it's her Hindu, so it's going to be so much fun and we're going to have a really good time, we're going to have cider and a barbecue and it's going to be really good. So I'm all packed, down here, all packed and ready to go. I've got my cider in there as well and then in the morning as well I'm going to put my rollers in so they're down there ready to be put in because I'm going to travel to hers in with my rollers in and then we're going to travel up north which is about a three four hour drive with our rollers in as well and go shopping in them so that'll be fun but i'm really looking forward to it nicole is such a close friend of mine now since we competed together so i'm really excited Don't you wear a 